in this video i demonstrate how to calculate the relationship between yield to maturity and bond duration it is known that yield to maturity and bond duration are inversely related in the sense as the yield to maturity increases the bond duration decreases so we'll check with the various yield to maturities and uh, how the bond duration changes in this using excel one variable data table uh, so here we have a uh, inputs required to calculate the duration now date and maturity date these two need to be formatted as a cells format as a date so that excel function that is uh, uh, michaelis duration what is the function which we are going to use it takes inputs in a date format only so we have a dates here then coupon rate it need to be in a format in a percentage and yield to maturity need to be formatted again in percentage so we have formatted the cells and let us say our purchase date of a bond is 1st january 2012 and maturity date of the bond is 31st december 2016 and 31st december 2016 and our coupon rate is 11% a number of coupon payments in a year is 2 yield to maturity 13% and par value of the bond is 1000 so here we take different yield to maturities now we we start with 9% again we select the cells format percentage okay Start with eight percent, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen percent. So what is that we are trying to do is, what will be the duration of the bond if it is eight percent when it is nine? Yield to maturity is nine percent. Yield to maturity is ten percent. Likewise, so. here we are going to calculate the data table right. now here we first we write the formula here equal to duration so settlement date select the settlement date put comma select maturity date put comma uh, coupon put comma then yield and frequency so here we calculate the duration for the calculated duration and here is our different yield to maturity so we want to know how the duration changes as yield to maturity changes so select the data so where we have given input select this go to data then click on what if analysis and go to data table so in the data table select column input cell because our uh, yield to maturity cell we are given in a column so column input cell and select yield to maturity so here is our yield to maturity in f8 so what is that we are telling to excel is by changing the yield to maturity calculate the duration and click okay so here we got different durations now if we plot this on graph just we have a data from here select this then insert you have a column graphs here So just edit the select data 
and uh, here I did this with your input here remove one and here it is I did this as series name as duration and click OK so now here you can see as the yield to maturity increases from 8% to 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, your duration of the bond is decreasing. So this is how we, we calculate the association or relationship between yield to maturity and bond durations. So it clearly says that there is an inverse relation between yield to maturity and bond duration.